show was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Need furniture! <laughs> Man, these videos on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel are really funny, despite the fact that it is recycled clips from the original series. It would be funny though if Patrick really did get his own TV show. It probably wouldn't work though. Wait, what's this? Bum bum ba dum da. Ba da 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 da. Mahid and Brahim's Avengers. Ba da bum. So the Patrick Star Show just came out today and I watched the first episode and honestly, it's an experience. An experience that I kinda can't describe, but I'm gonna try to in this video. For those of you who don't know, last year in August, Nickelodeon announced that they have greenlit a spinoff of Spongebob focusing on Patrick Star. This is the second spinoff of Spongebob that they're making with the first one being Camp Coral. And honestly, I didn't really follow much on it. All I knew is that it was happening. And then we just had to live with it. And then like Cam Coral, which I actually deeply like researched about and watched all the videos. And then made a three-part mini-series on my YouTube channel, which got a lot of views. Thank you all for that. I didn't really care that much about this show. Like, I was just like, eh, I'll probably watch it when it comes out. I don't know, I just didn't think that Patrick could hold a spin-off. In, especially not season 12, Patrick. Considering how, yeah, seasons 1, 2, 3, he could potentially hold a show. But season 12, I'm pretty sure he's just a baby in this star's body. Can't do anything with that. But it's happening, and I watched the first two episodes, because it's actually on Nickelodeon instead of Paramount+. Plus, Meaning I don't need to pay $8 a month to a streaming service just to watch one show. I guess that'd be two shows of Patrick or something. Anyway. But yeah, I watched both episodes because it was bundled in like a 24 episode thing with like 12, 11 minutes in it. And yeah, I guess I should explain it right now. The plot. So the plot of this series is relatively pretty simple. It's Patrick Starr putting on a TV show with his parents' help and support. Um, and that's really it. The only the other thing I can add to this is that this is technically a prequel, so all the characters look slightly younger. Like, slightly. Now at Camp Corvo, they're all kids, but, like, you can tell that they're younger. And, yeah. I will say, though, that unlike what most people thought, this isn't, like, a talk show type thing. Like, not like, a late night with Patrick Starr. It's literally just Patrick Starr putting on some variety show, and the topic of the episode of, like, his show is based on what he wants. Like, for instance, in the first episode... The thing that he wants, and he wants food, so he decides to use his show and like do like a cooking class, so he's able to cook. And then the second episode is him wanting a job, so the entire episode is he and SpongeBob. SpongeBob's in it, and they uh, get a, they try and get a job together. And that's really the entire plot of the show. The humor. Okay, this show is so off the wall and weird. The Curry's even stated in interviews that they're just not going to try and follow any of the lore and they're just going to bend in like reality in the universe of Spongebob. And I'm guessing that makes sense because trying to make a Patrick show is just so hard that they're just like, eh, what the heck, yeah, do whatever you want. And this can go, and this could be from running gags of like this one, like one of those, like every time Patrick opens a door, there's like this man, or like there's this man in like um, a medieval outfit just chases him and then he just shuts the door and nothing happens. Or he just goes under the Patrick just goes under the table. And these little like shrimp things that are just eating food that are just like mm, crumbs. And then there's just like random parodies and jokes. Like also another thing to know is that in like during like the episode, not just in between, but like during the episode, there'll be like an ad break thing where they just have like a parody of an ad. And one of them they had was like this like show where like Fred, the my leg guy, is being taken by the mafia, and they're just like. All right, if you don't tell us what's up, we're going to do something bad to your leg. And then they just start beating up their own legs to show what they're going to do to Fred. And Fred's just like, you know what? I will confess. I did do it with my leg. And then he hears his leg. Or, and, it, and it gets even funnier because later on in the episode, SpongeBob and Patrick dress up as the mafia to get Patrick's dad to give him money to pay back the mailboy, which is Squidward. 
because he keeps on just taking the newspaper without paying Squidward. And then SpongeBob, and like there's a part where like SpongeBob's like, "All right, champ, if you don't pay us the money, we're gonna spill water all over your newspaper." See? And then <laughs> she just uses like a vacuum cleaner and then sucks up the newspaper before they could do it. The show is funny. It's not like unlike Camp Coral, which is it's just fine in the humor department. This show is funny. It's so weird that it's like it's one of those things like it's so weird that it's funny or so bad that it's funny. Like I can't. I can't stress that enough. And I think it's because of the fact that there's just no rules. Like every, like they just hit you with joke after joke, considering the fact that Patrick is the comedy lead. I don't know if other people will find it annoying. I find it funny, kinda. And also the fact that this is like, maybe like season nine Patrick and not like season 12. No, it's definitely not modern Patrick, cause modern, <laughs> oh, and also um, just like the Spongebob season 12, they also do like weird faces. And some of them can give me a laugh, or some of them will start at me like, oh, I didn't see that coming. But yeah, overall, the show is just weird. And that's all I can describe it. Weird. My final thoughts. So overall, my uh, final thoughts. It's weird. That's all I can really say. All I can really say is, it's weird. But what I recommend it... Yeah, I would recommend the show. It's like it embraces that it's weird and it's not annoying. It's just it's just funny. Like you'll get a good chuckle out of it. If I think it could last like a whole series, no, I do not think it could last. It's like the way how it's all structured doesn't seem like it could really like f like run for like so many episodes. But I don't know. It's this is just like the first episode or the, yeah, the first two episodes. The only I guess the future is in store. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that the grandpa is voiced by the person who voices the gazpacho and chowder. So that automatically gives it plus one star on my tally board. But yeah, I just wanted to, just wanted to mention that. Anyway, I feel like the only way to actually probably watch the show is to just take, like, turn off your brain and just watch it. Which I'll promptly do. Please subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye.